Hey guys, it's Learning Simmer here, back with another video, and today we are working on my shell challenge. If you don't know what a shell challenge is, it's basically where someone builds the entire exterior of a shell. Sometimes they add the roof, sometimes they don't, and other people can download it off the gallery and turn it into whatever they want without changing the original exterior. So I announced the shell challenge on my Twitch channel pretty much at the beginning of the month. Um, however, I'm announcing it now on my YouTube channel um, in case there's anyone who is interested in doing it. So basically to do it, all you have to do is go to my um, go to my origin account, my origin gallery page, I don't know what to call it. Um, my origin ID is Alluring the Simmer, but it's in the description down below in case you forget. Um, and you have to download the build called Alluring Shell Number 3. So this is technically my third shell shell challenge um so you download that and then you can turn it into whatever you want as long as you don't change the original exterior um although all the rules are in the description of the build so make sure to read that if you're interested the theme for the shell challenge this is the first time i've ever done a theme actually is east it's not easter the theme that i chose was easter but the theme is holidays so you can choose whatever holiday you like you can make up a holiday as long as you explain it in the description and base your entire build off of that holiday it doesn't have to be a house it can be a community lot like a venue of any sort it just has to have the theme and you just can't change the original shell um but again, all the rules, I'll probably put them in the description as well in case you miss it, but it, it is in the description of the, the build when you download it. Um, so yeah, I chose to do Easter, and when you're watching this, obviously the shell would have already been done because it was my shell challenge. Um, so I'm just recording for you guys the interior, because I did the, the exterior, like the wallpaper and the landscaping and stuff, I did that on stream on my Twitch channel, which you guys can find in the description down below. And if you want to see me tour your build, if you decide to participate in the shell challenge, then I would say to follow me on Twitch and make sure when you're done um, with your shell to upload it to the gallery with the hashtag AlluringShell3. And that way I can find it. Um, you can also just uh, let me know if you decide to participate in the comments down below this video because I might check. Sometimes people put the wrong hashtag. Try my best to find it, but your best bet is if you want me to tour it to be in the stream on August 30th or August 31st. Those will be the two days I'm most likely will be touring at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. Link in the description and I will be able to tour your build if you do decide to participate. Um, but yeah, the reason why I chose Easter was because when I was doing the roofing, I was trying to figure out how to make it work because the top level of this shell that I built is a little bit, it's a little bit weird. Um, so it's kind of hard to roof. That's the one issue that I even ran into. I didn't think about the fact that I would have to be doing this shell as well. So I kind of just did it to make it difficult for other people, but I didn't think about myself. Um, but I found this cool divider thing, which you'll see probably at the end of this video. Maybe it'll be in the thumbnail. We'll see. Um, you'll see that I added the divider in order to make the roof like seem more normal. And once I found like this purple swatch of the the divider, I was just like, you know what? I'm doing Easter because it just had like that pretty pastel color. And I was just thinking of all the items we have in game. Um, like Easter is just a really easy thing to do because we have, you know, like the freezer bunny is one of the iconic things that came with, I don't know if it's the Sims 4 or if it's just the Sims in general. I'm sorry, um, but it's definitely a popular thing and there's a lot of items that have bunnies and we also have the Easter holiday in the Sims 4 so it's really easy to do that theme. Um, I haven't really been talking about the actual build much, but the kitchen was already done before I started filming this and I didn't want to redo it again for the video. So it's there, it's, it was it was cute. I mostly just worked on the front room. That's the only part that I don't think I talked about and like this little book nook space that you just saw. And now this room that I'm working on is the living room. I struggled a little bit with figuring out the layout because of the way I shaped the room. Um, so I also had made the floor plan 
um, during the stream. However, when I went back into the build, I kind of forgot like where I meant for each room to go. So I made the floor plan, but I didn't like put anything to indicate what each room was supposed to be. So I kind of just had to guess. And I had two rooms that looked like they could possibly be the living room. And I was just like, I don't know what I wanted when I first did this. So I just kind of went with the flow and just made it up as I went along. So originally I had this little section over here where like maybe your grandmother sim or your grandfather sim. I'm imagining an elder sim would sit in the corner and like knit. Um, you could obviously have a young adult sim or any other age sit in the corner and knit, but that's just what I imagined. Um, and then over here I have like this little area with the fireplace but then I kind of thought it didn't make sense to just have a fireplace and there's no seating around it so I ended up moving the chair that I had in the corner over to the other side by the fireplace and I added a little um, activity table in the corner instead so your sims can have some games to play and then here we are working on the bathroom I kept it, the bathroom pretty simple um, However, I did add some like pastel colors because we have a lot of pastel colored bathroom items um, that fit the theme of Easter, so I used it. So we have this nice light pink toilet and a nice light pink sink to match. Um, and I found this mirror that I think came with Parenthood that went really well with the theme as well. And I added these little flower uh, decals on the wall and I thought it looked super cute. Um, Considering it's 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 just a little half bath, you know, but I think it looks cute and then here I'm adding in the lighting so usually when I do these builds I put in the little saucer light just so you guys can see what's happening and now here I'm finally replacing it with cuter lighting um, I was gonna keep the exact same lights throughout the entire house and then I just thought it looked kind of weird and I didn't really like the vibe so I changed it out to these lights from fitness stuff um, I did use quite a bit of packs in this build. I honestly couldn't tell you what the main packs were. I know for sure I used Nifty Knitting, I used Heine Living, I used City Living, I used Cats and Dogs, I used Strangerville. Like, essentially I used pretty much every single pack I owned, but um, if you do want to download it and you have all the packs, then you're good to go. Um, I could try and do a shell challenge again where I do like limit myself to a certain amount of packs. The first shell challenge I ever did, I actually made my shell only using base game and it was a wedding venue. Uh, if you want to download that, it is on the gallery as well. And I think I might do another shell challenge after this one, but it kind of depends. Because um, I've been doing, I mean, this is my third one within like the past few months, but it's been a lot of fun being able to like see what other people turn the shells into. Um, so I recommend this to people who maybe struggle with building as well because I know a lot of times in my stream people ask me for like tips on building, how to become a better builder, and I'm thinking of making a video about that at some point. However, um, my main thing would be to try participating in shell challenges. You don't even have to like upload your build to the gallery afterwards for people to tour. You could just download a shell and try furnishing it and creating the roof and the landscaping and stuff as a way to practice. Um, if you're struggling with like creating floor plans and like making your like exterior of the shell, you can also use that to like help guide you and like how to make your own builds by using it as inspiration. Another recommendation, although these are things I'll probably talk about in the building tips video, is to use like inspo pics. Um, Google is your friend in almost every case and you can Google pretty much any sort of uh, exterior you want to do if you want to do a modern home, if you want to do a contemporary well, I guess contemporary and modern, kind of the same thing. If you want to do a suburban home, if you want to do a community lot, just search for pictures and use those as inspiration. Um, you can even try and do a direct copy of a house. So like if you see a floor plan that you really like, you could use that to like guide you with your own floor plan. And then based on the floor plan, you, you can then create your shell and your exterior rebuild. So sometimes you can work backwards to figure out what you want to do but those are like two really good tips however in the future I will make a video talking completely about tips for building because um, that is a question I do get quite a bit 
Um, here we are working on the master bedroom and I found this bed. I think it's from Cats and Dogs. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's from Cats and Dogs. And I just thought it was super cute because I've never seen that swatch before. I like the little peach color that it has. Um, and I was just trying to find like pastel color things or like bright color things to use to decorate the room. Um, and I, I don't know if we have that many items besides like when I'm thinking of like movie hangout stuff and like nifty knitting, there's not a lot of like bright, like not bright colored, but like pastel colored things um, that aren't like rustic looking, which wasn't really the vibe I was going for. Um, you also may notice there's a lot of flowers throughout the build. I just felt like because I was doing Easter, I wanted to make sure to like bring the spring kind of vibe into every single room because um, I didn't want to just put eggs in all the rooms or like bunnies in every single room so I kind of did spring slash Easter so for someone who may not want to to have like Easter eggs all over the house you could probably delete those and still have a fully functional home because obviously the eggs don't add any function they're just there to make it more Easter themed um, and you could get rid of the bunny stuff if that's not your style and still have like a cute home because I tried to just use the color choices more so than the actual items. Um, actually ended up changing the color of the master bedroom completely. It was light blue and I changed it to yellow because I felt like it popped a little bit more. And now here I decided to make, um, I think I made a kid's bedroom. I cannot remember now. It may have been a teen bedroom. I think I did a teen bedroom. Um, so if your sim has a teen, you know, this is a nice room for them. You could probably, no, I think I made it into a kid's bedroom <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm not even sure at this point. We'll see in a second. Yeah, this is definitely for a teen because I have all the textbooks and stuff. But you could make this for a kid if you wanted just by removing like the little bookcase and stuff, maybe adding some toys. Um, you could even, you could convert this into just a regular guest bedroom. This was just because I felt like the color scheme worked really well for this room as like a, like a young Sims bedroom. Um, however, you could use it for whatever you want when you download, if you do decide to download the build. Um, and I, and I had a lot of fun with this room because I used a lot of items that I'd never used before. I haven't been doing a lot of gameplay as much this month, so I haven't really played with like teens or children in the game as much. But it was nice to make, it was nice to make a teen bedroom for this build. Um, now here, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the hallway space because there was a lot of space, but I was like, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to put here. Um, so I ended up using this chair from movie hangout stuff that I thought was really cute in the corner and then I added this plant right next to like the staircase as you come up. I did this little thing with the paintings um, to, I don't know, create a cool effect and also to fill up space and I used the nifty knitting rug. Um, you know, just for that pop of color. Then I realized I also need to make the outside have some stuff on it too because I have this huge open deck and then there was nothing on it. So I added some yoga stuff because I actually wanted to add that inside the house um, earlier but there wasn't like any room for it and I was just like, wouldn't it be nice and relaxing to like do yoga on your deck or uh, like meditate? So I added that stuff on the outside and then with the upstairs level, I kind of just um, turned it into like an attic space. Um, so there's a lot of like clutter, I have some crates and stuff and like boxes and then um, I also have some more like skill building items for your sims. So I added the fizzy station or the fizzing station. I added a little projector so your sims can come up here and they can like watch TV and have like a little movie night if they want. And um, I think that was the main thing I put up here. I actually combined these two rugs and I really liked how it turned out. Um, and I decided to do like a light pink color with like an accent wall. I did like the turquoise tealish color that I had before, but then I decided not to, to stick with that. Um, so, what else? Oh, for the back I decided to add like an outdoor barbecue area, and I think that was pretty much, I, 
I think that's pretty much all that I did besides like maybe a little bit more landscaping. However, I just want to say thank you so much if you got this far into the video. I appreciate you. I'd love if you give this video a like, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below for what kind of videos you want to see next, as well as um, what kind of holiday you would do for your shell challenge. If you're not, if you're participating or if you're not participating, tell me what holiday you would do if you were to do the shell challenge. I would love to hear it and I will see you guys on my next video. Be sure to check in the description to see my Twitch channel. Um, that way if you do want to participate you'll be able to see when I do the shell tours and also just because I'm there a lot more often than I'm here. Um, I stream every day but I'm on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.